one small job. Um, Tony Nighthouse recommends that you um, reinforce your wing root using epoxy and um, glass fiber. So I went on to the website for Slack and found this. Uh, the wing joining kit. The glass fiber ribbon is uh, 10 centimeter wide. Um, I don't want it that wide. I don't want it to interfere with the seating of the wing. So I cut it in half and I'm not now going to apply it. The wings are nearing completion and I've been putting this stuff on wherever I found any dings or, or scratches and uh, now I'm going to use it here I've, I've just sanded this lightly with some very coarse sandpaper uh, it's quite hard and now I'm going to put some uh, one time spackling over this but I'm not going to use my spatula uh -huh. I'm going to use this a rubber glove this is somehow very satisfying what I do I just use my fingers and spread it around and there's something about this uh, this filler that while it's in the can it's sort of half dry but when you start spreading it like this it sort of becomes like a soft mud and you can apply it anywhere it's like making mud cakes all over again This of course takes quite a lot of time to dry, um, it won't be ready for sanding until tomorrow, but that's okay, I can wait. Wasn't that fun? <laughs> now there are two things I have to do before I can start um, uh, covering the, the model with plastic film. 
Uh, one of them is putting the uh, pull pull wires um, to the tail and the other is the tail wheel. Let's have a look at the, the plans. Here is the plan. This is the tail fin. Here is the rudder. The tail wheel is connected via this, um, this steel rod from the rudder down through the fuselage and out here where there's a wheel, the steerable tail wheel. Now, the bad thing about this is that the steerable tail wheel is pointing forwards. All the stress is going to be in that direction because of course the, the, the aeroplane is going in that direction. So every time the wheel touches it's going to want to turn. That's just because of this um, because it's not straight or, or turning backwards it's going to want to turn from the movement the direction of the movement from this direction so this is going to put stress on the rudder up here and in turn on the servo and eventually break the servo so I'm going to change this what I'm going to do instead is to fit um, a normal tail wheel to the back I've made this plate here with a six millimeter plywood keel that fits down into this hole here like this and on this I'm going to screw this tail wheel bracket this will um, put next to no stress on the servo because I'm going to um, use these springs and some wire through here uh, to the servo to um, control the tail wheel. So this will be much be a much better system than um, routing it up to the rudder. The other thing I have to do before I um, before I cover is to put uh, some plastic tubing from this slot to these holes um, and this will route the steering cables for the rudder and I'm going to do the same for the um, uh, for the tail wheel. Now the kit includes these um, these tubes they fit perfectly into the this slot and you can route them down the fuselage but unfortunately they are about five or six centimeters too short this is a mistake that the um, the nice people at Slack seem to have made in this kit. So I have to do something else. I had to get my own tubing and I found this. This is um, a tubing that is used for air control systems. It's a little bit wider than the other one actually uh, this orange tube fits inside but that doesn't matter I'll just uh, cut the appropriate length widen the slot a little bit and then put them in here it is ready for covering building has finished now all I have to do is cover it Put in the radio and fly. This has to be the biggest, largest trainer I have ever built.
and seen. And I've been doing this for a long time. Look at this. That metal strip underneath it, it's a meter long. Next time you see this aeroplane, it will be blue and white and probably ready to fly. This little yellow tape underneath the wing here yeah, shows where the balance point is. Look at this. It actually balances about three centimeters in front of the balance point. This just couldn't be better. This means that um, I will probably not have to put any weights in it to balance.